Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna do a small video. I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. This is going to be about my rook piercings and it's going to be an update video. I will link my first rook piercing video down below and uh, in that video I, sh I tell you about the pay level, you know, and everything that like that and I show you the video of me getting the rook piercings too, but this is going to be an update video and I did think that it would be quite important that I tell you this because not everything went as smooth as I kind of expected it to be. So yeah, uh, I've written down a couple of notes so I hope you don't mind if I look at them. Um, okay, so first thing. After I got my rooks pierced, they hurt like hell, uh, and I had severe headaches for a week. I mean, every day you wake up with a headache and throughout the day you have it, like it doesn't go away. And I was on pain medication for, well, every day for over a week, and I mean, it was pretty hard. I mean, it got to a point where, I mean, I knew that this was, you know, normal, but like it got to a point when I honestly thought that I would you know take the piercings out because the, it honestly hurt that much I mean to have a constant headache is just one of the worst things and um, but luckily I didn't do that I kept the jewelry in um, and you don't actually know how much you move your ears but once you get a piercing in your ears um, you will know. Um, with my other cartilage piercings, they didn't hurt that much and I didn't have the same problems, but because the rook is so close to the head that whenever the skin uh, on your face moves, it moves the part where the rook is and it moves that part the most. So it was basically like, it, like um, laughing, smiling, yawning, uh, eating, you know, like everything was so painful and it was just, I was really, really frustrated because I mean, it's just so annoying, you know, when you have, you can't really do anything, you can't even really talk and I don't know, it was really, really annoying. Um, also, sleeping was very hard, uh, constantly just having to wake up and lie on my back because I am a, that kind of a person who does like to sleep on their side but I had to force myself to uh, sleep just you know lay on my back and um, but yeah I, I did constantly wake up during the night because it was so painful and every morning uh, you know I had a headache and my ears would hurt and they were red for quite some time they were hot for a very long time um, now they still feel a bit uncomfortable and they're not completely healed yet but I know that's normal it's too soon for they for them to be completely healed um, but it is better than before I don't have headaches anymore uh, again the headaches lasted only for like a week and um, then it was just you know mild uncomfort much like it is now uh, the only thing that actually helped with cooling down the ears and keeping the redness to a minimum and just helped with the pain was a uh, cool chamomile lotion. That's the chamomile tea that I have talked about in basically every one of my videos. And um, I did that two times a day and my piercings actually insisted that I do them that because like with my other piercings, my other cartilage piercings, um, they didn't demand being taken care of in like a special way and they kind of even healed themselves. However, my rooks really, really needed that chamomile lotion. They really needed that special care, that really gentle care and uh, being constantly cleaned <coughs> and taken care of. And um, I, like whenever I did get like a hair product or whether or like a shampoo or whatever um, uh, into the area, the rook, 
oh my god it started hurting so bad <laughs> yeah um but uh, if you would ask me whether I would get the rooks pierced again or if I regret getting them done then no um, I do not regret getting them done and I would get them done again um, I want the final result to be perfect and I'm willing to face the complications that a piercing can create so um, so I, I'm you know I'm okay I'm, I'm up for a few complications and feeling the pain and uh, I'm even okay with like if the piercings hurt when I'm getting them done because like I've mentioned in my previous videos if the piercing hurts more or hurts a lot then most likely you will remember that piercing more you will remember the experience of getting it pierced um, like getting my tongue pierced the middle piercing for example it was so painless that I don't even remember how I got it done I have a video of it for like and that reminds me um, but like if I, if I didn't have that video I just I would have basically no memory of that and um, yeah so but if the piercing hurts then actually that does um, have you then you have a constant reminder of what you have overcome I've gone through much worse so yeah my industrial I had the same problems with my first industrial that was really really painful too I didn't have the issues with um, whenever I would talk or like move my jaw and the skin would move that didn't affect the industrial uh, however um, sleeping was like the main problem with my industrial yeah so I do hope you like this video and I tried to make it quite quickly I believe I did <laughs> and um, so yeah it's, for me it was quite difficult the healing process um, pain wise and everything but now you know I'm happy with them I'm happy I got them done and um, and yeah but now if you ask me if I would suggest you getting those piercings then I'm not quite sure because I mean for me personally it was very painful and I'm not quite sure if a lot of other you know people could take it um, especially if they're kind of new to piercing and that would be one of the, like the maybe first piercings however I've heard about like I've heard from other people that they didn't have like a lot of problems with their rook uh, rooks or you know um, but yeah I guess it's just up to you and once you get them pierced you know whether they are going to be healing smoothly or if you will have some problems.